Hello, I am Tara from livingonadime.com. This is my wonderful assistant, Heidi, joining me today. She is the one that takes care of all of our nasty comments. <laughs> she's, she's our bouncer that keeps everything nice on our YouTube channel and Facebook. And we love Heidi. Right? Yeah. And she's so all... might as well not leave nasty comments because Tara's never going to see them. <laughs> I don't see them. And it's great, <laughs> except for the doozies when we have to make a show out of them. And then she's like, okay, you got to make a show out of this. <laughs> but anyway, so right now that is what she's doing. She's also our faithful research assistant because I hate doing research and she loves it. And love so, it. yeah, so she researches show ideas. But today we are talking about side hustles on Facebook. Now, I am the author of the Dining on a Dime cookbook. This was one of the side hustles that I started with. And it's kind of funny because we will see it. It's funny, <laughs> isn't it? Because we'll see it on Facebook Marketplace. We'll see it on Amazon. We'll see it on uh, eBay, those kinds of things where people have gone to garage sales, bought the book, and resold it. And put it on for like $500. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. So it's kind of funny seeing my own side hustle as somebody else's side hustle. You know? <laughs> yeah, I never thought of that. It's kind of funny. So anyway, today we are talking about Facebook Marketplace. So you, we're going to just do a real quick rundown. You're a stay-at-home mom with four boys. First, you wanted to get your grocery bill um, to not be quite so tight. Yep. Now you guys are doing good. You're hoping to get your house paid off in a few months after just 10 years. Good job. I'm impressed. I'm basically a one income. I mean, I do have my side hustles, but you know, basically. my husband is the breadwinner yeah. and for raising four boys. Yeah. That's a lot of work. <laughs> I know I have three. So I totally, I mean, I have four kids. Them but... Feeding them is a lot of work. <laughs> no kidding. Okay. So what have you done on Facebook marketplace to where you have earned several hundred dollars up to thousands of dollars on Facebook marketplace? So what have you done and how did you do that for Facebook marketplace? Okay, so on our last video, we touched on eBay as being as selling parts, right? Mm -hmm. Facebook Marketplace is not where you sell parts. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I mean, I live in a town of a hundred thousand, so for someone to need, you know, a part, mm -hmm. it's not going to happen. So uh, eBay and Facebook Marketplace, I always have going on at the same time. So you need to look for um, how I did the biggest selling was there was some groups, some buy, sell, local groups in in my town mm -hmm. and I sold a lot of things on there. One of them was an auction site and that was crazy. I mean, really? crazy funny. Oh man. Huh. Uh, well, I'll have a, I'll have a story later on about something that I sold that was just crazy on, on this little auction site for my local town. Hmm. Um, so that's a, the same concept of finding things very cheap. Mm -hmm. Um, things like 31 bags, you can go to garage sales and find 31 bags for a dollar, $2, those kind of things always sell. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't do a lot of clothes unless it's kids clothes and it's very name brand. Mm -hmm. And I only pay like 50 cents or a dollar. Um, you can sell, you go to garage sales and you can get things so cheap or you can get things so cheap at thrift stores and Maybe you pay $2 for something, you can sell it for 40 on, on Facebook. And the people come up, they come and pick it up. I, I do, I don't recommend this, but I do, people come to my house, mm -hmm. I don't care, yeah. and pick it up. Um, I've met the nicest people. I've yeah. met such nice people. And it's just from selling things you know, on Facebook. If they're questionable, I kind of discern if they're going to be questionable then i'll say let's meet at walmart parking lot at x time at this area. i only do it when my husband's home you what <laughs> i only do pick up when my husband's home yeah or i'll just i'll leave it on the porch and mm -hmm. say put the money under the mat now i live in a place where <laughs> you can do 
that. <laughs> you can, and people are so honest. I've yeah. never had anyone. I've sold to hundreds and hundreds of people and I've never had anyone yeah. like stiff me out of money, <laughs> but you know, use judgment there. Use yeah. your own judgment. Yeah. But it can <laughs> be done. And, and I do that all the time too. And you can make, um, yeah. you can make anywhere from 200 to $500 pretty easily. Okay. So where do you um, find the stuff for marketplace? Is it just garage sales, thrift stores? Again, garage sales, thrift stores, people just giving you stuff. You put out the vibe, you know, like, oh, are you getting rid of that? I'll take your junk. Mm -hmm. You know, do you mind if I, you know, do you mind if I sell it? No, I just want it out of my house, especially with everyone right now watching that Netflix show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everyone's just purging and getting rid of stuff. And I'm like, I'll take it yeah. right here. <laughs> Offer to help your neighbors move. I helped my neighbors move and I was just helping them out of the goodness of my heart. But I probably got $500 worth of stuff that I sold way yeah. for the three hours I spent helping her pack her stuff up in the house. It wasn't the heavy moving either. I was just helping her take stuff out of drawers and put it in boxes. Boxes. And I probably made $500 for three hours worth of work. Yeah. Yeah. People don't care. They don't, what I have found is people do not want to take the effort mm -hmm. to sell things. No, they just don't. I don't know if they don't see the value. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I will, I will sell something for 20 bucks and I'm excited because to me, $20 is a lot of money, you yeah. know? <laughs> Yeah. So I don't know. People just want, they want it gone out of their house mm -hmm. and they don't want to take, take the time. Yeah. So, and you can put on, um, <clears throat> Facebook marketplace or neighborhood apps or that kind of thing. Hey, if you're moving, I would be happy to take some of your junk. You know, <laughs> I've Side seen I mean, garbage yeah. day. People just set really nice things. Oh, out. trash I picking is the best. Yeah, for furniture. Yeah. So I'll take and trash pick furniture and I'll bring it home, clean it up, put a little bit of stain that matches if it's scuffed in one spot or two. Yeah. And I'll sell it for $50, $100 or I'll put a fresh coat of paint. Take it, just cleaning the item. And please, if you're going to sell something, clean the item. <laughs> but just a little bit of elbow grease, cleaning something, maybe laundering something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you you'll know? double or triple your money just cleaning it. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I always sell nice things, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. 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 Um, okay. So how much have you earned doing Facebook side hustles? Over the years I've been doing it? Or well, or like, yeah. Over the pretty easily you can do 200 to 500. I've made probably up to a thousand a month. Wow. That's probably the most. Yeah. Cool. And have there any been any problems that you've had with it? I have never had a problem. Okay. Um, for well, I did a lot on this on our a local auction site mm -hmm. on Facebook. It was a group. Mm -hmm. And if you didn't, if you no showed, you were kicked out. And okay. so I, I never even had a no show. Good. Yeah. Now I will say for my tip, when people come to say they're going to pick up the item, I tell them when you go to pick up the item, I will give you my address as you are leaving the house. Okay. And that really helps because then I know, and I'll be honest, I have had Colorado's really bad about no shows. Colorado's really bad about no shows. And I've even had people who were on the way to the house supposedly. Yeah. And they didn't show up, but here's the thing. I'm a stay-at-home mom. I didn't have any place to go. It yeah. was it was like a 30-second, you know, Facebook text. Yeah. For a side hustle, that's not bad. You know, that's really not bad. Um, okay, so what's your auction I story? Somebody waiting. You know, I put things on, and I've had like 10 people respond, mm -hmm. you know. If you don't, and I tell them that. I say, you were first. Mm -hmm. I have 10 other people waiting. Yeah. If you don't show, you're not yeah. getting now, I have done this also. <laughs> so one time I got a screen door for $20 and I listed it for um, 40 because it was the wrong size. So I listed it, I paid $20 for it. I listed it for $40. In three minutes, I had like 15 phone calls. So I knew that I had way underpriced it. <laughs> so, what, like, Darn. <laughs> so what I did, well, actually, <laughs> this probably isn't kosher, but I did it anyway. So what I did was I said, you know what? I am really sorry. I realized 
when I got 15 phone calls that I way underpriced this. If you want to give me your bid for this item, I will give it to the highest bidder. And I did. And I ended up selling it for $125. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So I had four guys bidding against the screen door. Wow. And the highest. New. Yeah, I know. And it was a, it was a 1950s screen door. Oh, okay. It was cool. It was pretty cool. Um, and so I have done that. Also, if you underprice it and you realize, whoa, I way underpriced this. Don't answer anyone remove the listing and put it back up for the higher price. Oh, I never even would have yeah. thought of that. Yeah. <laughs> and we and sold a wood chipper and w I mean we had like in a half an hour I had like 15 messages. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's and you have to get it today. <laughs> yeah. And so that's one way that we have gotten a, a good price out of it. So tell us your auction story that happened with your auction. Oh, okay. So we have a large garden and we have a very large strawberry patch and we have it bordered. And as you know, strawberries run. And so they always jump over the border. And normally my husband just mows the plants, right? Mm -hmm. Mows them off. I thought, you know, I wonder if anyone would pay for these strawberry plants that we're just going to mow. Mm -hmm. And so I, I, I put it on the Facebook auction that I would sell 20 plants, but it wasn't just 20 strawberry plants. I was going to dig them up when you showed up and I was going to teach you how to plant them and care for them. Oh, good. I just put on that, I put that on $60. I got $60. I did that five separate times. Wow. I, I made anywhere from 55, I think the most was 60 or 65. And, you know, people came and I got to be in my garden and talk to them about plants. It was just, it was awesome. It was, they were so happy to get these plants and we would have just mowed them. Yeah, that's my dream job. That's actually, I, people may not know this about me. I used to talk about it more, but I actually went to school for greenhouse management and landscape design. This is not what I had planned for my life. At all. <laughs> that would actually be my dream job. I would love doing that. You know, I've even been thinking about next year when all my kids are finally in school after 15 years, they're in school all day, of starting, a, I will till and plant mm -hmm. a garden in your backyard. Yeah. We're going to talk about that in the next video because being a personal gardener is actually very lucrative and it's not real difficult either so all right any other tips for garden. selling huh if you like to garden yeah if you like <laughs> to garden yeah so do you have any last tips or did we cover everything um as far as facebook marketplace yeah, or yeah. The, um no that's it go find yeah. cheap stuff stuff on the side of the road yep there you go and just resell it so all right guys please like subscribe and share check out our dining on a dime cookbook at living on a dime thank you Heidi and if you leave me a nasty message Heidi's just gonna bounce it for me she's wonderful don't leave me a nasty she's message wonderful <laughs> <laughs> all right guys we'll see you guys next time bye-bye bye-bye